Uh, hello guys, uh, in this video tutorial I will be taking care of a new proximity sensor that is TMB2772 and to gain more knowledge about this sensor let's go to controleverything.com and here we have to search for this particular sensor and let's see what we else got for this it says that it's a digital ambient light and proximity sensor and these are some of its small features as you can see on my screen you can also purchase the sensor from this very site from here well, I will be interfacing the sensor TMD2772 with a beagle board and using a C code. Now to get the C code, let's go to resource tab and here comes the C code sample as you can see on my screen. Now for this C code, you can download the code as a zip file from this very site. Also you can have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. Now let's have a look over the hardware connections we need to set up and let's proceed. Well, in the hardware section, the first requirement is of a beagle bone black, which you are able to see on my screen. Now, this here is an I2C shield. It's available on the website controlleverything.com and you can purchase it from there. The real reason we are using this shield is to make easier connections with other I2C devices. So, gently place this I2C shield over the beagle bone black and make a connection. The next thing we require is our sensor that is the ambient light and proximity sensor TMD2772 and this here is a connecting cable. Make the connection among the sensor and the cable and make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same thing goes for the I2C sheet for the beagle bone black. Now to power up the beagle bone black we need two things and the first thing is a mini USB cable and gently insert it over this jack. Now the second thing we require is a 5 volt adapter and put it over the power jack here. Now we need to make an internet connection and there are two ways. The first way is this, an ethernet or a LAN cable which you can see on my screen. Gently insert it over the here, ethernet jack as you can see. Also for other thing you can also use a wireless USB nano adapter. Now what do we require next is to have a look over the C code so that we can interface it with the sensor and the beagle bone black. Let's have it. Now for the interfacing part uh, we need the C code and let's go to github.com here and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community which you can see on my screen just like here. Now click over here and here we have to search for the sensor that is TMD2772 and let's see what we got in this sensor. Here's the C code. But let's have a look over the instructions we need to follow. As you can see for the C code we have to download or git pull the code in the beagle bone black. And after that compilation uh, we have to compile the code. This is the command. Please note it down and this is to run the command for C code. Please note it down. For any other information regarding the setup you can go to the beaglebone.org and all the relevant information will be there. Now get back to the code as you can see. Uh, on the C code it's a .c file and in the code please note down that we have included some of the libraries which you can see on my screen and in the void mate function and in this part we have to create an I2C bus and we have to check that whether the bus is there or not. After that we have to check whether the device is connected and the device address is 0x39. Now coming to the writing section part we are sending the commands to the sensor and which says that we have to select enable register which is 0x00 or with command register 0x80 and we have to send the command to set power on proximity wait and ALS enable that is 0x0f here the command is written after that uh, we have to select ALS time register having address 0x01 or with command register 0x80 and we are sending a command for a time that is 2.73 millisecond and it is 0xff the writing command is here then we have to select the proximity time register which is 0x02 or with command register 0x80 and the p time there is the command we are sending here is 2.73 ms and it is 0xff the writing command is here after that uh, we have to select the wait time register which is 0x03 or with command register 0x80 and the sending via data the sending which is w time which is 2.73 ms and it's 0xff the writing command is here now the last writing command we in which we are selecting the control register which is 0x0f or with command register 0x80 and we are sending the command to set 120 milliampere LED strength 
Proximity uses channel 1 diode, 1x P gain and 1x A gain, which is 0x20. And the writing command is here, as you can see. After that, we want to retry the data back from the sensor, and which is called the reading part. As you can see, we are reading 6 bytes of data, which you can see uh, from the data register that is 0x14 or with command register 0x80. And from these 6 bytes, we are getting some data. After that, uh, if this is the condition where we will have the condition that whether the data is correct or not and after the condition we have if the data is correct we have have the data to convert which you can see we have used a lot of formulas and some conditions there which are described clearly in the data sheet for tmd2772.c now as you can see uh, we have to print the output results on the screen which is the output data as you can see it's the ambient light luminance which is uh, the unit is lux and the proximity of the device now what do we require is to have a look over the practicality of this c code along with the sensor and the beagle bone black let's have it now let's have a look over the working environment section and in this part we have to copy this entire code as you can see on my screen and after that we have to open up the terminal for the beagle bone black and here we have to create a new file with .c extension as you can see and here we have to paste the entire code and then at last we have to save it now this is the command as you can see on my screen uh, it's for the compilation process and you have already seen this command uh, in this part uh, in the instructions part specifically and let's see what we got here the code has been compiled successfully now to build uh, the code this is the command and let's see what we got here we have the ambient light luminance and the proximity of the device as you can notice as I'm running the command again and again the values are almost constant because there is no interference regarding the intensity of the light falling on the surface of the sensor or any object but when I place some object over the sensor and run the command you can see the ambient light luminance and the proximity of the device decreasing now instead uh, when I place some light source near to the sensor you can notice the ambient light luminance and the proximity of the device increases and the values are being reflected onto the screen so this is how the sensor works now let's have a look over the benefits and applications of this sensor the TMD2772 family of devices provide digital ambient light sensing, a complete proximity detection system and digital interface logic in a single 8-pin surface mount module. The TMD2772 enables accurate results and approximates human eye response to light intensity under a variety of lighting conditions. The proximity detection system includes an LED driver and an IR LED which are factory trimmed to eliminate the need for anti-equipment calibration due to component variations. The applications for the TMD2272 includes display backlight control, cell phone touch screen disable, mechanical switch replacement, medical diagnostics and a lot more. This sensor is available on the website controleverything.com and you can purchase it from there. Also you can have the code from the resource tab and after that you can download the code as a zip file from that very site. You can have the code from github.com also and the repository there is control everything community. In the end I would like to make it clear that for any further clarifications and queries you can reach us on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page. For articles and blogs you can reach us on instructables.com and if you want to subscribe more video tutorials like this go to our YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and had a good fun yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.